Hello folks, this is the game and welcome to another video. This time we will not do a key opening because I'll do more key openings than routes. So in this video I will show you actually three methods to get uh, quick money, easy money with scav or PMC because they are free, they are not requesting any keys. So without further ado, let's start the first method and jump straight into it. Please consider subscribing if you find this guide useful. So basically what you want to do is to come back on the Goshan and run run straight into it. Turn a left. Let me uh, turn on the flashlight. You can go here, jump on these barrels and on top of this container you have a weapon box. You have one more over there and if you drop down you have a double bag here. And you have, uh, if you turn right on here, you should find another one. Let me find it over there. So basically you have three weapon boxes and one duffel bag right in front of the back Goshan. Also you have a, a granite box over here. If you go into this container, you actually have weapon parts that are spawning on top of this uh, military crates and a uh, uh, ammo or, or grenade ammo box over there but let's continue the route on the left run all over down you can find another toolbox over there a lot of uh, tools can spawn on these shells and on, the, on this part too like this this is not so expensive but good money all of these items can be sold around 10k for on the traders so basically you want to grab as much as you can you have another toolbox here here you can find also two uh, tool, tools another toolbox here and what you want to do is turn left here and run straight up into the back of the goshen And what you want to do here is turn right and go on into the back. If you are a PMC, you can uh, rush this uh, this point because in the, at this point of the what no one is actually contested. So everybody is buying food uh, from the flea, but no one is selling. We have a weapon box over here. We have a rail spawn item on top of this uh, these shelves, but. The main focus for us is this part of the map where you can find a lot of food like this one, like uh, humpback. As you can see, can of energy over there, another one, another juice over there. Here as well, uh, the juice, the big juice, and you can grab it. But if you find all of any other item, you can drop it and replace it with a better one. Especially pick up the cold milk meal because it's around 60 to 70k to the therapist. As you can see, a lot of food and no one will ever grab this in this point of the world. Also, if you, have, if you are struggling with the task with the Tushonka, you can find it here very quick and easy. As you can see, there is a lot of food. A lot of food. And if you didn't uh, fill up your bags, what you can do is jump off these uh, shelves. You can go here and pass them. Turn on the left, run, run straight back into it. Turn on left again, pass these doors. Okay, so in here you have a duffel bag. You also have a spawn here of... Uh, I found usually termite over there, which is very good for uh, the bartender, the barter, or to sell on the flea market. Also, we have a good spawn here. Basically, all these shelves can spawn uh, technical items, as you can see, and it's worth to grab it and check it. After that, you can open this door, run here. You also have uh, tools, as I already mentioned, on these shelves. But you also will have a lot of toolbox over there 
it's one you will have, have more of them here we have a weapon box over there and what to extract you can go drop down over there and you have the uh, extract without the backpack but if your backpack is full and you want to keep it you can go run past this you have ammo spawn here as you can see also you have a duffel bag in here one in there and one in the back right over uh, not duffel bag a toolbox right over there and if your bags are not full yet you can turn left here again let me recover my stamina for a bit and you have, you guess it, more tool back, toolboxes. One over there, you have a uh, pound of tools all over the shelves again. Just look it. Here one, you have a sledgehammer here if you don't, didn't find it yet. Another toolbox. Run into the back and we have another spawn over there and we have another toolbox over there after you fill up your bags and you want to extract you have two choices if you spawn on that part and the route start over there you can go to the railway extract which is over there or you can if you bring the money you can and the car is up you can take the car and get out for, with the car from the electrical part and if you fight uh, spawn in this part you can go with Amarcon which is located on the other side of the map now let's jump into the custom custom route and here we are on customs on the dorms area this is the three store dorms that is the two store dorms first of all we would like to enter on the three story dorms you will know it because on the early wipe or early account you will have a lot of quests on this side what you want to do is loot this this is never looted if you are struggling with the keys you can check these keys check this uh uh what it's called the jacket these jackets there are two jackets here one in here and two in here as you can see the door numbers are 101 104 and 105 after you looted that you can you can went to the bedroom if you take you want to take a piece but if you want you can find this uh, ammo boxes not ammo boxes this duffel bag you can loot it also if you are struggling with the loot on this uh, sofa this is actually a rare spawn item here is the food that you can bring also check the kitchen because almost all the time you will find food if you are hungry and need the food here you have uh, uh, what it's called uh, electrical item spawns on this uh, room 117 you have another two another uh, file cabinet and as you can yeah and as you already know this uh, wipe at least the file cabinets are buffed for the keys so a lot of the good keys are in, actually in the file cabinets on the second floor what you want to do is loot these two jackets in the 202 if you have this key 204 i recommend it to buy it because you have a, a safe on the left if you are looking for the machinery key you have a 100% uh, spawn rate on this uh, yellow uh, jacket and you can loot another one over here you have a PC over there and going back on the second floor you have one, two military crates you have food spawn on the table also you have another weapon crate over here passing by this uh, this sofa you have two jackets on the floor 
also you have a 220 key which will you will need to have it for a quest inside you will have a jacket and a duffel bag also the quest items are located on top of these shelves going back on this right on 214 you will have a safe let me show it i recommend it to bring a dog case because you all the items that you need are can be be put inside of the dog case you have the safe that i was talking about now let's go to the third floor when you enter to the third, third floor check this cabinet you can jump even on this chair because this is a medical uh, item spawn i don't know if you can find late dexes i don't find i didn't find actually one on this you have another two jackets this is the room 301 and the last spawn item you can go all back to the marked room key which is 314 which by the way if you didn't check it i already made three episodes of opened of mark friday on it you can check my uh, video if you like and you have another two jackets over here now let's continue to the two story dorms you have a weapon box over there but i don't recommend to loot it because almost all the time it is camped and you can be killed so easy don't drop it <laughs> You need to drop on defense and you will not uh, break your legs nice i didn't bring a splint oh my god let me use the propital i forgot to bring a splint because i've missed that fence f me so in the two-story dorms if you have the key you you will have uh mp4 spawn over there and weapon box and a uh, ammo and a grenade box i have a duffel bag duffel bag weapon box over here another one over there you need to open this door and inside you'll have two jackets a duffel bag and uh, some food inside the bathroom please loot this cuff because actually no one is looting it and the key for that room on the entrance is can be spawned in his hand if you continue on the back of the first floor you have two rooms this one is requested for a quest if you open it inside you'll have a medical a pc and a safe and the other one the 110 110 and 114 the blue keys this one uh 110 and 114 inside this you'll have a safe over here and a spawn of uh, rare items over there now going up on the on the first floor shh, you will not die trust me on the back of back of the first floor you will have uh, two uh, file cabinets in 202 you will have two jackets pass the barbed wire because you have another file cabinet over there going down on the second floor you will have two jackets over here cross the road on the bathroom and have two more over there and now open this you have a duffel bag over here open this you have two wooden crates over here and here you have another weapon box and if you still have room and you have the keys you can go on the other side of the store of the dorm open this room you'll have uh 105 over here and 104 over there you have a safe also you have rare item to spawn on top of this uh uh sofa and on this carpet and across the 104 is one of well, across the 105 is 104 <laughs> and inside you have two jackets and the toolbox and this is the run for the reserve the free run you can do it on your scrap or your pmc but keep in mind that this uh, zone is highly contested 
uh, on the late wipe. But if you didn't hear any boom booms on the dorms, you can come here and check it as well. Now let's jump into the lighthouse for the last uh, method. And welcome to the lighthouse map. If you are managed to be beside this wheelchair, please check in because I found multiple times Bitcoin on it. And now let's run straight on the loot run. And if we manage to run until this mansion, first the building you want to loot it is this one on the right. You have a free safe over here, as you can see. Also, you have a, a med bed, med bag. Also, check this because it's a gold spawn. There it has uh, BTC, GP coin, all kind of good spawn. And running into the garage, you will have a VPX spawn over here, vertex, all that good stuff. Also, a gold spawn over here. Uh, gold chain uh, roller all that good stuff another uh, toolbox over there you have uh, some sp uh, loose item spawns over here and on top of this uh, I don't know the refrigerator what what it is exactly you have tank battery spawn so if you need one in the beginning of the wipe for the uh, repair car uh, quest you can find one here also, I found loose items in this part of the car. Now, going into the actual dimension, you have a rare spawn over here. I don't know, it is bugged. It's underneath. What it is? Oh, a GP coin, as you can see. And into the main uh, room we have special spawn on top of these uh, chairs and where this Emilia is and one over here going on top of on the second floor on top of the house you have special spawn on on these two shelves here I actually find moonshine and sugar and special spawn spawn again here also a weapon box over here after that you can go down to the cinema because this mission has an actual cinema and you can find uh, here I found uh, sugar and all that good stuff and you can find intel on this folder on this uh, what it's called so far as you can see now what you can do is going in this bedroom you will have a, a gold item spawn on top of this uh, this mobilier and now running back you have a, a duffel bag over there also you have a medical uh, toolbox over here and meds can spawn on this too and now if you are uh, running outside Oh, and there is one more uh, there, there it is I forgot where it is so this uh, has two spawns one here and one here also you can jump here and if you don't have the strength to do it and you are out also items can be spawned in, in this uh, wooden crate and check this because a lot of times you can have good items this uh, broken wooden crate and if your bags are still not full you can run into this little shed check this because i found i found the uh, gold items on top of it and here as well also these shelves are good here it is something but i can see it no nah. i thought i saw the a little white dot and to extract if you have a red rebel you are closest to the closest extract is with the red rebel uh, on this uh, this side of the map or you can take by path to shoreline which is over there so this was the three free free money routes that you can do it with your PMC or your scav in the beginning of the wipe or if you are a dimmy or a beginner. So 
if you enjoyed this kind of video please don't forget to press the like the share the subscribe button or and please keep watching it because uh, it helps me a lot with the algorithm and more people means more videos so please and thank you for your support and without further ado i will see you next time have a good day week and month see you bye bye